What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another abnormal tutorial. Today we've got a very special video, we're going to be talking about how to improve your straight arm strength. Now what I mean by that, statics. How to improve your static holds. Let's not waste any time, let's get straight to it. Alright, the first exercise we're going to try to do is we're going to focus on pointing our elbow pits forwards. So we're going to turn our arms out, lean forward and really focus on pointing those elbows facing forward. This is going to fully lengthen your bicep and this is where the strength comes from, right in that bicep joint. Next you want to work on protraction and retraction. Now this is what's going to make sure that your levers and planches are looking nice and straight and clean. When you're protracting and retracting the scapula, you're also working on that straight arm strength because you're not actually bending your arms. So it's a really good exercise to again put more stress on the joints and working that straight arm position. Now, for any pushing movements, especially for the planche, you want to adopt a protracted scapula. Again, pointing those elbow pits forward and you want to lean as far as you can. This is going to emphasize and place more stress on the front part of your deltoids. And this is what's needed, especially for the planche, the front delts and the bicep strength. Yes, a lot of core is needed for the planche, but in actual fact, if you want to improve your straight arm strength, you need to get your biceps and the front part of your shoulders stronger. So exercise like these will definitely help because you're just again working with straight arms but you're also loading the shoulders. Once you get more comfortable with protraction or retraction you can advance it and work on one arm at a time. As you can see here my right arm is fully straight and I'm just protracting and retracting the scapula. You want to avoid bending at the elbow and really focus on pressing up and back down. Handstands are another great way to improve your straight arm strength, especially if you're doing straddle presses or any form of straight arm press. This is going to train yourself to really keep your arms locked out and again holding the handstand just forces you to keep your arms locked at all times. Again, to further increase your straight arm strength, you can focus on one arm handstands. You can again do these against the wall. It doesn't have to be on the floor like I've just shown. So they do help build up that straight arm strength. Again, rings are another great way to test your straight arm strength. Try planche leans on them. They are no joke. Swiftly moving on to pulling exercises. Right now, I'm showing you a passive hang. So no muscles are being contracted. You're literally just hanging off the bar. And this is the first exercise to help improve and strengthen your straight arm pulling strength. This is a great exercise again to stretch your body as well if you're feeling tight anywhere. Um, the next exercise we're gonna get into is an active hang. So as you can see, I'm retracting here and I'm tensing my core. So I'm engaging more muscles in that hanging position and you should feel it a lot in those arms. You wanna make sure that they're nice and straight as always. No bending at the elbows. From another angle, as you can see, this is a passive hang. So not a lot of muscles are being engaged and now I've retracted. Legs have come forward a bit, core's engaged. This is an active hang now. So you wanna get comfortable doing this movement until eventually you can call them scapular pull-ups. Let's go scapular pull-ups, again, slow control. The arms are not bending at all. It's very, very minimal bend at the elbows. The idea behind isometric holds is that the muscle is not shortening. It's still lengthened, but it's contracted. So we need to practice this movement. Once scapular pull-ups become easy, you can then advance this to 45 degrees front lever holds. So even though it's not quite the front lever, you're still getting the benefit of holding that isometric position and building up that straight arm strength. It sounds like common knowledge. I mean, it's not hard. It's very, very simple. Just do exercises with your arms locked out and straight. So again, front lever uh, raises with the band is going to help engage your lats more and more of your core. And that's going to help improve that straight arm strength. Again, exercise like inverted deadlifts where your arms are fully locked and you're using your core to drive up is really going to build up that straight arm strength. So you really need to get used to training with straight arms, okay? I know we're used to set some reps bending the arms, but we wanna try and keep those arms locked at all times. Next up, to further advance this, we can go on to one arm hangs. Now we can use this, we can do this using a band, or you can do it with just your body weight. So you're gonna alternate left to right like so, just a few seconds hanging off one arm. Now I struggle here a bit because my left hand is still kinda injured, and this position is really, really tough for me. So as you can see on the left hand, only hold it for a few seconds because it really, really starts to pain. All of these exercises are really, really tough, guys. So don't be disheartened if you can only do scapular pull-ups or 
can hardly hang off a bar. It does take time to build up straight arm strength because we're not used to keeping our arms straight and holding isometric holds, but we'll get used to it. Eventually over time and practice, you will ace it. Last final exercise, we've got one arm scapula pull-ups. Once again, it's been your boy Tyre from Abnormal Beings. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it useful. If you like the gear that I was wearing, it's called Urban Vault Street Apparel. I will leave the link in the description below. Check them out. Uh, awesome hoodies. I was so warm in it. Like, honestly, very, very comfy. Um, perfect for working out as well. As always, comment, like, share, most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So close to that 100k. I know I keep saying it, but I really want to hit it at the end of this year. So keep subbing. As always, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week with another video. Peace.